Lake Monster, Chapter Eight: He Who Hates Humans. Silence fell over the staff room as Ben and Pearl waited to hear what sort of level three creature did not like humans. Mister Tabby cleared his throat. The new patient is a leprechaun. Pearl and Ben released their breaths. A leprechaun? Pearl nearly laughed. She'd been expecting a three-headed dog or a giant troll. How can a leprechaun be dangerous? Isn't a leprechaun just a small person? Ben asked. Never call a leprechaun small, Mister Tabby said, smoothing the front of his vest. And never mistake a leprechaun for a human being. They are part of the fairy species, and they despise your kind. Why don't they like us? Ben asked, as he and Pearl followed Mister Tabby out of the staff room. Because human beings always try to steal leprechaun gold. I don't want to steal gold, Pearl said. I promise. I saw a movie about a leprechaun. He made shoes. Ben said, "That is correct." Mister Tabby nodded approvingly at Ben. Leprechauns make the very best shoes in the imaginary world. In the movie, the leprechaun would grant a wish. Ben remembered. A wish? Pearl asked. Is that true? Mister Tabby sighed. Yes. If you steal a leprechaun's gold, the leprechaun will grant a wish in exchange for the gold's return. He raised his eyebrows and leaned close. But be warned, stealing the gold is never a good idea. Leprechauns are notorious tricksters, and getting a wish granted is nearly impossible. It almost always ends ends badly for the human. Why is it here? Ben asked as they followed Mister Tabby down the hall. The leprechaun is male, as are all leprechauns, and fully understands human language. So please do not refer to him as it. Sorry, Ben mumbled. He is being treated for a head cold, Mister Tabby said. But enough about him. You have other duties today. What kinds of duties? Pearl asked. She was ready to do some work. Would she get to braid a unicorn's mane, feed milk to a dragon hatchling, read a story to a sick pixie? You will clip the Sasquatch's toenails. Ben and Pearl groaned. We already met the Sasquatch, Pearl said. The fairy creature seemed nice, but it smelled horrid and had a really bad case of foot fungus. Can't we do something else? You will find the clippers in here. Mister Tabby opened a door marked "Supply Closet." Get the big ones. Sasquatch toenails are as thick and bristly as coconut husks. Ben grimaced. Can it clip its own toenails? Ignoring the question, Mister Tabby said. You will find the Sasquatch in the forest suite, which spans the entire third floor. Take the elevator. Do not visit any other floors. Do not leave the hospital. When you have completed the toenail task, wait for me in the lobby. His brisk steps echoed off the walls as he headed up the hall, his ponytail swishing back and forth. When he reached the exit, he called to them, "Stay out of the identification room." For that is where I will be examining the leprechaun. Then he stepped back into the lobby, and the door closed behind him. This is going to be disgusting, Pearl said. Yeah, Ben agreed, but at least it won't be dangerous. The supply closet was crowded with all sorts of stuff, like brooms, buckets, shovels, and mops. One of the walls was covered with tools. Ben found a bunch of clippers, some sm- so small. They might be used on an insect. He grabbed the big ones. These look like they're for hedges. They made their way to the lobby where the elevator door stood open, waiting. Pearl stared, stared longingly at the di- identification room door, which was closed. Maybe we could just take a peek inside, she said. I'd sure love to see what a real leprechaun looks like. Mister Tabby told us to stay out out of there. Ben reminded her, "This is our first day. You don't want to get into trouble on our first day, do you?" As much as Pearl wanted to see the new patient, 
She didn't want to get into trouble. Troublemaker was her title in Buttonville. She didn't want it to be her title in Dr. Wu's hospital. You're right. She followed Ben into the elevator. I just thought we'd be doing something fun, she complained as she pushed button number three. Clipping toenails doesn't sound fun at all. Well, maybe it will get better, Ben said. Sure hope so. My great aunt Gladys asked me to clip her toenails once. They were thick and yellow. It was gross. The doors closed and the elevator whisked them upward. After the elevator stopped on the third floor, the door swished open. Wow, Pearl said as she looked out. Am I seeing things?